Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. A couple of months ago, I did a video showing you how to create an animated progress bar in PowerPoint like this one. Link above and below if you're interested in how I built this one or two other examples from that video. In the comments for that video, some of you had asked how you can do a progress bar across multiple slides, something like this. So going to slide two, slide three, and you'll see that progress bar in the lower right is still continuing on across these slides. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Now, unfortunately, there's not an easy way to just say, play this animation across multiple slides. So what we're gonna do is a workaround by using a video. And a video you can play across multiple slides. And that's what we want. The first thing we need to do is save our progress bar as a video. Then we'll take that video and insert it into our deck and then set it up to play across multiple slides. I've already got the progress bar started here in this deck. And again, if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, check out that video below in the description. But this is basically a rectangle here for the outline, and then we've got a rectangle inside as well that has some color. And then up here for animations, we're just doing a wipe animation going from left to right. And that's how it'll progress from left to right across the screen, like a progress bar. And then the only other thing that I've done here is change the size of the slide. So up here under design and slide size, custom slide size, I've just made the slide exactly the same width and height as that rectangle. You don't have to do this, but it'll make your video fit a little bit better once we pull it into another deck. Okay, but back to the animation here for this blue rectangle. If we come up to animations, we need to set the overall duration for this progress bar. Now, I think in most cases, you probably want this to be the length of your overall presentation. So maybe you're at a conference and you have a one hour time slot for your presentation and you want this progress bar, which is gonna become the video, to be the full duration of that one hour. So to do that, let's come into the animation pane. And there's actually a couple of different ways you can set this. If you just come up here to duration, let's say that you want this to be 60 minutes, you type in 60, that'll default to 59.00, which is actually 59 seconds. So if you do need this to be longer than a minute, what you need to do, let me just expand this a little bit here, is click on your timeline right here, which is gonna be in green. And if you hover over it, you'll see that it's 59 seconds. So if you click on that and then come over here to the very far right and then click it and drag it over. So here you'll see that we're at about two minutes, 55.4 seconds. So you can drag this over to an hour or whatever you wanna do. For the purposes of this video, I want it to be obvious what we're doing. So I need something a little bit shorter so you don't have to wait for such a long time. So I'm gonna take mine down to just a minute after all. So you can sort of eyeball that. Or if you come in here and hit the drop down arrow and come into effect options and timing, you can also set it right here. So we're gonna say 60.0 seconds, so basically one minute, and say okay. You can also zoom out on your timeline down here. If you have a really long timeline, it'll be a little bit easier to see that way. So set that for whatever duration you want on the overall presentation. And then what we need to do is save this whole thing as a video. If you don't know how to do that in PowerPoint, just come up to File, and save as. And then up here, rather than saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, you wanna save it as an MP4 file. There is also a WMV file or Windows Media Video, but I'm gonna go with MP4 and then I'll save. And down here at the bottom, you'll see exporting progress bar MP4. If you have a really large video, this might take a minute, so just keep an eye on that. But while we're waiting, if you're finding this helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much. All right, that finished. So I'm gonna come into another deck now, pretend that this is my final presentation deck that I'm giving at the conference or what have you, right over here. So I have four slides just with some simple bullets and the bullets are gonna be animated on each slide. And so we want this progress bar, the video, to basically span all four of these slides or 400 slides or whatever you have. So I'll grab that video that I just created. You could come up to insert and video over here. I'm just gonna open up Windows Explorer and drag it over though. Here we go, there's the MP4 file. I'll just drag that over here 
And then you can resize it just like you would resize any other object in PowerPoint. Move it around to wherever you want it to go. Just resize that a little bit more here. You can also crop this. You could put a border around it, change the shape. There's lots of different things that you can do. But I'll just place it down here on the lower right, sort of out of the way. And then just make sure that on all of your subsequent slides, this one for example, and all of the others, just make sure that you're not putting anything else in that location or the progress bar is gonna be in the way. All right, now with that selected, come up to Animations, and then your Animation Pane. And then what you wanna do is on this top progress bar right here, so you probably have one for the play and then one for pause down here. Make sure you grab this one here with the play and click the drop down and effect options. And then the secret to make all of this work is to say stop playing after however many slides. So I have four total slides here. I'm gonna say stop playing after four. And this is gonna make it play across the entire presentation. That's the magic to this whole thing here. And then say okay. If you have more than four slides, obviously enter that number there. And then let's also say that we want this to start basically automatically. So up here, rather than starting on click, we'll start with previous. And then the only other thing I'm gonna do for my specific slide here, you'll see that I have these bullets and these have animation on them. So I don't wanna wait for these three to play before I start the progress bar. I actually wanna start the progress bar first. So I'm just gonna pick up the progress bar right over here, just clicking on it, and then drag it up until I get the red bar. There we go. All right, now let's play this thing. I'll come into slideshow view mode down here and start this. And there it started automatically. And I'll just click through, we'll see the bullets here. And the progress bar is still just going smooth there. And now we're on slide two, it's progressing from where it was before, clicking through slide three, and so on, all the way to slide four. And when we're done with slide four, this should stop and it's the end of the presentation as well. So that's it, that's how to create a progress bar that spans multiple slides in PowerPoint just by creating a video and then having the video play across the presentation. If you enjoy this kind of content, check out the other videos in my PowerPoint playlist, and thank you so much for watching.